It enters your mouth in a very sweet and light manner. The barley's there, the wood a little bit, the, the grain, the Hawaiian punch, the fruitiness, and then the transition. Hi, Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany. And today I have Temple Bar, 15 year old. The anniversary edition, single malt whiskey, 175th anniversary of the Temple Bar. If you see my other videos for the um, traditional Irish, the 10 year old, the 12 year old, and now the 15 year old, you know that I also had a cast strength and fill from the Temple Bar. And if you look very, very closely, it says established 1840. So add another 175 years to that, you get the year 2015. That is exactly when this was, um... no, it wasn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's interesting, I didn't realize that when I did the German video before. This was distilled in December of 2000, and... 2000? sorry. And it was bottled in 2016. So, only 15 years old. Bourbon casks. Triple distilled. And this is basically the third edition of Temple Bar. The normal traditional Irish blend with port and bourbon. The 10 year old. The f this was the 15, the third. And then they added... Um, at the end of December 2016, the 12-year-old special edition. So, let's try this. As I mentioned, I've already done the German video first. Whiskey Jason, actually it's called Whiskey aus der Sicht eines Americanas. Whiskey from the viewpoint of American is the correct translation. And I review almost daily um, different whiskeys for the German speaking countries of Europe, Germany, Switzerland, Austria. And every once in a while, if I can find a whiskey that has not yet been reviewed in the English language, I say, hey, let me do it. And so you can see what else is on the market. I was walking with my wife, took a walk with my wife today, and I just asked her, I would say, would you actually watch a video of something you could never buy yourself? And she said, no. I said, yeah, that's the problem. That's what I do. I only do videos in English about the video about the products that no one else can buy outside of Germany or other places in Europe that don't speak English. Otherwise, other people would have done these videos anyways. So it's a little bit frustrating, to be honest. All right, so this is the special edition. Let's see what the nose says. Oh, that's good. Oh, it's a good nose. It's a very delicate, very light barley. Anise, watermelon again. I think I said that with the 12 and maybe even with 10. That was the last video in the wood video before this. But it's a very, very typical um, Hawaiian fruit punch type of whiskey. I had the privilege of tasting the dingle. Also, there's an English video about the dingle three-year-old single malt. And it smelled very, very similar. This is 15 years old, instead of the three with a dingle. I like. Let's taste it. Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm disappointed. This was supposed to be the pinnacle of the Temple Bar products. I can definitively say that I like the 10 year old better. The 12 year old I didn't like at all because there was so much wood and the foulness of the wood. And what we have here is it's been in the wood a tick too long. It's a little bit of astringency, a little bit of bitterkeit. The tannins of the wood just appear in a way that it doesn't really complement what this whiskey is all about. It enters your mouth in a very sweet and light manner. The barley's there, the wood a little bit, the, the grain, the Hawaiian punch, the fruitiness. 
And then the transition. I love whiskies that transition in a way that to make them even better. But yet the Temple Bar 15-year-old transitions in a way that it makes it worse. This astringency, this bitterness just kind of takes the whiskey and pulls it down a whole level. It should have been a B whiskey that turned into a D plus. It should have been a B minus whiskey that was right up there with other things that are really good. Like, for example, Jameson Cooper's Crows. Um, the mass, the, what was it called? The, the Jameson's um, Blender's Dog. I think it's called. I don't have the bottles anymore. I've sold them all. I've, I, I, what I do is, and I've mentioned this before, is I actually I'm buy a bottle and we do a bottle share. So I fill up bottles of um, little tiny samples of 5 CLs as well as 10 CLs. And that's what I did with the, um, the whiskers, wh whiskey distillers from Jameson as well as the deconstructed. It's interesting. Germany has a lot of great whiskey at a fairly decent price as well. We get things that other countries don't get for some reason. I'm very, very thankful for that. Oh, the nose is so good. It's so promising. And then you just taste it. I forget that there's a picture over here. It just starts off in the middle and it should go up. But instead it just goes down and down and down. And also what's in your mouth is not really what you want. There's this... There's this woodiness I think I described it like this in German as well once I had a toothpick I chewed on the toothpick until it became pulp and there was this bitterness of the wood and that's what I get exactly that same feeling and it's not a feeling that I'm going to pay 99 euros for 100 euros for a bottle of this no my recommendation and I've already done this before is the 10 year old from Temple Bar. If you're ever going to try anything, this is the thing you should try. It's the best of the rest. <laughs> I gave it a C++, a B minus minus. This I'm going to give a, I think I gave it a C minus in German as well. And the price, I give it an F. 99 euros for something which is a C minus in my taste, no go. This, this is the 10-year-old, and this is actually the best thing I've had from Temple Bar, except for the cast strength. Here, the wood becomes bitter, astringent. Here, the wood starts to foul a little bit. There's a little bit of bad wood in there. And I, with a 12-year, I didn't have any of that. So I think I'm going to add an extra bonus video in English. I'm going to test this as well. I've, I've said this is the best stuff I've had for Temple, from Temple Bar and I want to prove that it was. So come back for the next video. Temple Bar Hand Fill Cellar Cast Cast Proof. The next video will be this. Thank you for watching. Whiskey Jason here. See you soon.